I have a great show for you tonight and I got loads and loads and loads of stuff to show you. So let's get started. Stay tuned. designer and basically oh I forget to, I read about him I forget where he's from but anyways he moved from another country to this country I think he lived in Florida and made his company out of Florida and uh, they uh, noticed that their jewelry was selling really well and uh, well they tested it out <clears throat> and sold in an airline uh, and sold all their pieces like so quick like within an hour or something so that's they just stuck with it and they went international even like national and international they had locations I'm a bunch like 700 locations all around the world selling their jewelry Anyways, this is a very nice one, and I'm going to take it out of the package for you to look at. And then I'll put it back in. But it has its original packaging. But I wanted you to be able to see it. It's a signed piece. And it looks like it has rhinestones in it. Let me get a bust. Okay. It has rhinestone stones in it. It's kind of cool. And the chain is really nice. And let's see what it measures. It's a silver, it's not real silver, I don't think. I think it's just silver plated. I'm gonna measure the whole thing, basically. Okay, let me show you the earrings on the earring stand. Original package still has a silicone in it. Has very nice earring backs. The set is brand new, never been worn. Don't you like brand new vintage? The earrings are pretty cool. I like them. Has nice earring earring backs. Purest. Silver toned. Very sparkly. Let me get where to put my flashlight. It's very nice set. 
So earrings, necklace, brand new, vintage. Has a story behind the owner of the company. And um, well made. And I'm sure you've heard of them because they've been sold all over the world. So I would like to have $30 for this set. Brand new earrings and brand new necklace. Well made. Nice chain. Bougeau Turner. Okay. By the way, there's a signature in the back of the earrings and a tag on the necklace. So it's all signed. Bougeau Turner. Really $30. And it's in brand new condition. Vintage condition. So that's a good deal, I think. It's pretty. Um... What are we doing next? All right, I'll just put this on first. All right, it's not signed, has seed beads. It's not a signed piece, but it has seed beads. Where did I put the uh, magnet? I was just gonna double check it. It's silver toned. I'm just gonna, just gonna check the metal real quick. Okay, silver plated. All right, it's silver plated as far as the hardware in the back. It has seed beads, it's very, um, Sierra Desert type of a feel look to me, like tribal. And it has some glass beads that looks like maybe Czech crystal or Czech glass. These uh, rondelles here that are kind of a pink champagne color. And it has these beads sure what they're made out of these feel like they are probably loose sight or something I mean I don't know if it is or not but some kind of form of plastic I mean they got weight to them though so that's why I don't know Like, you wouldn't think plastic would weigh like that much. So I'm not quite sure what it's made out of as far as materials. It has some sparkle in there too. These little silver beads. Okay, let's let you look closer. <laughs> Instead of me looking so close. I'm just trying to figure out what it's made out of. <laughs> But, I mean, it's rustic. It depends on what you're wearing, but it's kind of a cool layering piece. Has two strands. Show you the colors. So, it's kind of cool. And... I have these wooden beads, and I don't know, some people call them African trade beads. They're wooden, they have, they're different kinds of woods. I'm just smelling it, I don't know, sometimes you can smell wood. Oh, 
I don't know what kind of wood. It could be some exotic wood from Africa. I don't know. Then it has these tiger striped. And I thought maybe these could go together. I don't know. Don't you think that looks cool? You know, very tribal. These are wooden, and I would say they came from Africa or some other faraway place. And it, the wood in these beads are exotic, and these have been carved into like, oh, I wish I knew all my um, shapes, but see how it has a lot of different sides. Like, you know, you've heard of a Merkaba, like shape. I don't know that that is exactly a Merkaba because a Merkaba is like 12. But anyways, it's, it's got a like a geometrical shape to these two beads. And these are like a round. We've got this one is oval and then these ones are round, so it has variants. I like beaded things to have variants because it, it makes it so much more like artistic and interesting to look at. So same way with these, you know, they've mixed them up with different shapes and different types of beads. So for the two necklaces, um, together, um, well, I'd like to have $35 for the two. This, this one's so unusual. Very, very, very unusual. I've never seen one like it before. Okay, next up, that's what these two are. I'm gonna put the, them over here. Now I have this other set that I kind of put together. This is like rose gold. Now you see this triangle shape a lot. It doesn't say guess on it, but a lot of times guess will put that shape in their jewelry designs. It's three stranded. It's missing the tag here. So if it had the guess tag, it's missing. It's rose gold. Let me put it up close so you can see. It's a little layered ne necklace. I might have it backwards. I love these little, um, these purple beads. They are like a, like a midnight, like a, it's got a gold fire inside of these be beads inside these purple beads. They're shaped like a crystal. I don't know if you can see the fire that I'm talking about. But, uh... They're shiny. Purple, like a... with a fiery... Like a little bit of um, so hard to explain sometimes. Just has this like fire color, this um, orangish yellow, I guess. Okay, so I thought that, and then I have this one here. Also, I don't think it's signed. 
but it's so cute. And it's really different. I'm not quite sure. It's like a mix between some stone and maybe like shell beads. And these, I mean, they just feel wood. Like they're wood, but they've been painted or something. And then they have the little gold uh, beads in between. And it's not double layered all the way. It comes around and then you have your, they're double layered, layered like from here down. And just look how cute that is. I just think that's cute together. I can't remember if I put, maybe I thought, I don't know if I had that, which way I had it layered. Let's see if putting this one on top. Yeah, I think I'd rather have it on top like that. And I have two different earrings to it. One set is brand new, still in the box, matches the uh, rose gold color. Let me put them in the, uh, it's, the package states that they're hypoallergenic. Let me put those in the podium real quick. So these are brand new. Oops, wrong way. Let me turn it around here. Adorable. They're really, really, really cute. So that together. Then I found this. Now, this probably does need restrung, but it matches. See? Cute little set. Pretty sure this is Guess. Brand new earrings that match it. And here's the other earrings. I'm going to throw these in. They're just kind of cute. dainty, handmade looking, gold ear, uh, toned ear wires, has a crystal at the top, an orange bead, and then, let me see what, this one kind of looks uh, pinkish, and the crystals are pink. Let me put them in the in this so you can see them better. It's a cute little set. So you're getting two earrings, a bracelet. I'll just throw the bracelet in. Let me put this in for you so you can look, take a look. Just cute. Very dainty. So 
So the little uh, circular shaped wire is kind of like a pinkish plum or pinkish rose, maybe a little darker than rose color. And then it has, like I said, the little pink crystal at the top, orange in the middle, and then like a champagne pink bead at, on the bottom. But they're adorable and they kind of go with everything that's going on here. Plus these. which is rose gold, just like these, and they're hypoallergenic. So let me get a measurement on this. Okay, measurement on the necklaces real quick. I'm really attracted to this set. I like the colors. So the first drop is uh, nine, and the second drop is like nine and three quarter. So it's not that much difference. So nine, what did I say? Nine was the first drop, and nine and three quarter was the second drop. So you, it'd be eighteen and. Nine and three quarter times uh, two, whatever that is. I'm too tired right now. Okay, and then let's see what this one is. This one has a, an extension. Okay. So the first drop on this is the guest symbol is at seven and a half drop. The um, purple beads is at eight and a half. And the disc is at ten and a half. So those are what the drops are on this. Okay, so bracelet, I'm just throwing it in. I do know, I am, I mean, it'll hold up, but I'm just saying it is a little bit, could use a new, a new restring. But it all matches. So for the two pairs of earrings, two necklaces, and I'm just throwing the bracelet in. Um, I would like to have $25 for the whole set. And I think it's really cute. I think a teenage girl would love it. I mean, I love it, so. <laughs> Maybe I'm a teenager. I act like a teenager sometimes. All right. I don't know what's next here. I was trying to get through a good many things so that I get, um, well, please remember, if you're watching my video, please like and subscribe because I really want to start doing live shows. And I can't really start doing that until I get a few more subscribers. So if you're interested in jewelry and, uh, you know, I would like to do live auctions and buy it now. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Put this up really close so you can see it.
before I put it in this box. Very cute. I think that's a pretty good deal. If you had a teenage daughter, trust me, she'd love it. Nice little layering. It all matches. And it's very sweet. All right. What are we going to do next? That one seems complicated because there's like four things to it. Um, oh, all right. This is a 1970s, in my opinion, layering necklace. And uh, there is very different, has like the different stripes that's kind of spotted, like animal print. These are like this really smooth, nice wood. There's a couple of those. And then this one feels like ceramic. We have the silver ones. This one feels plastic. Um, that feels wood, that feels wood, wood, and ceramics. And it's very cool. You can layer this. I was like, when I try to put together sets, I can decide where to put this one because it was like jiving with so many things. This would be a great layering necklace to own. I thought about keeping it, but I can't keep everything. I have so much jewelry right now. Huge amount of stock. So, it's time to start letting things go. So, if anybody's interested in it, it's cool. It goes with a lot of different things, and I love it. Um, you can choke it up and make it shorter. I'll put it to the shor shortest point here. So... Let's see what the drop, what the whole thing is without the extension measurement wise. Has a lobster clasp. All right, there's 12. Oof, this is hard to measure. This is approximate. 12 and then from here down. To the very last ring is 12 and 7 and a quarter. So that would be 19 and a quarter times 2. And then the extension is three inches on top of that. So it's a nice long lay layering necklace. I think it's really pretty. I like it. I think it's a nice design. I think it's unique. So um, for this piece, I would like to have $37. I think it's very nice. All right, next. Oh, look how nice this would, that would jive together too. All right, 37 on that one. Um, we got here. That one actually needs fixed. They have a paper clip. I just just gonna keep it to go like ding 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 ding. Super duper special. Ding ding ding. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. 
got some new brooches in today, but I don't know enough about them. What else can I do right now? This here is an artisan piece. Like, I don't know where it came from. But it's very artistic. It's pretty. So they made that by hand. It has like leather on the back. It has beads, seed beads all the way around it. And I just like the design on it. And I mean, what does it remind you of? Native or Dutch or some island? I mean, it's like an ornate handmade thing. I wish I knew where it came from because I'm sure someone picked it up on their travels. And it's just on a leather cord. The cord's like a suede leather. It has two little brown beads that have like little carvings in them at, at the top here. And then it has like these dangling beads, seed beads, wood beads. And what are these? These are glass. And they got like a pretty amber, reddish amber and yellows in it. I just think it's ornate, cool. Maybe came from an island or I don't know. But I like how it looks. And you could layer that piece too. Now let me, it's just over the head. And I'll measure the length here. Twelve inches to there. And then down to the pendant, another three. So twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen inches times two is thirty inches long. And then the pendant, not counting the dangles, just the oval pendant is two and a half inches long. And then the dangles from two and a half, they go clear to four. Four and three quarters, almost. Four and three quarters. And then across at the widest point is one and three quarters across. And it has this brass metal that has some kind of design on it. as a bezel. Let me see if it says anything. Oh, it says MJ at the top. Looks like an M and a J, an M and a J. Yes, MJ. Who? I better look up to see who MJ is. I don't know. MJ is what the bezel frame is saying. It's saying it all the way around. MJ. M 
MJ, 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 MJ. So. Mm -hmm.